So if I introduce these felt hammers over the top of the sound hole, you will hear that there's a very mellow sound. And this is very useful for for muting the strings. If I take one which is slightly less, it's got a much um, more distinct shaped sound. It's like a, almost like a cot sound, a Japanese auto sound percussive and low strings much darker really cool when it's behind the bridge very nice effect you can hear the echoes of course I will be using the pegs because the pegs themselves they when put onto the string quality, especially at the top range. So here I have two felt hammers. I'm going to show an experiment with the pegs. So previously I plucked them So they produce quite a tubular sound and quite hollow. But now if I it's less attack on this uh, on the sound. More percussive. Pegs are now near the sound hole once more, and here's the sound with the hammer. So, if I hit the particular string, it's going to have this uh, rattle, but some hollow overtones. But if I try with the smaller felt hammer, this one here, I can get this tubular sound. Very similar to the effect I had previously, but more hollow. If I just carefully adjust this. A dual Simer sound. It's very useful. And then finally, I wanted to show the most important sound. So, as you can see, it's close to the tuning pegs. And like I had before, where I was creating bell sounds with the plucking, and it created the tubular sound, I similarly will use a hammer to see how it produces a mellower shaped sound. Very hollow. You can hear overtones. Very nice effect. Exactly what I was aiming for. And at the top register as well, you can hear.
much more compressed but mellow sound. And with a small hand. 